very good, very good. Welcome back to Cravings with Adventures. I'm Sharon Ahmed and Chicken 65 has got to be one of the most popular recipes on my channel. I've made several different versions of this recipe as well as remade the original recipe several times. Now the name is really strange and has never been verified. Some people say that it's called Chicken 65 because the chicken needs to be 65 days old and other people say that it's made out of 65 different ingredients. I don't believe any of this. What I do believe is that this recipe came from a canteen in Madurai where there was a typesetting boo-boo and basically the typesetting should have been item number 65, chicken, whatever and it got jumbled up and when it got printed, it just got printed as Chicken 65. Because it was such a delicious recipe, people loved it so much, it got so popular that the name just stuck. Now, before we get started with making this delicious recipe, make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. I upload new videos every week and also make sure to hit the little bell icon so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Let's get started with the recipe. One of the main ingredients are these gorgeous curry leaves. The aroma of these leaves are incredible. In India, of course, these curry leaves or curry pata as we call them, grow wild. We're lucky here in Toronto to be able to find these in our ethnic grocery stores. Now you can store these fresh curry leaves for up to two weeks in a bottle and you can freeze the remaining for a long time. If I have a large batch, I sometimes just deep fry them and I can store them in an airtight container. I have two pounds of boneless chicken chunks here and I'm going to marinate them with one tablespoon each of ginger and garlic paste. I'm also going to add two tablespoons of cornstarch and some salt to taste. Mix everything together well. Now an egg is optional, but I like to add one just to really bind everything together really well. I have some oil preheated and I'm going to fry the chicken chunks a few at a time till they get nice and golden brown. Then I'm going to drain them on some kitchen towels. You want to make sure that the chicken is pretty much cooked at this point. I'm going to keep repeating this process till I've cooked all of the chicken. Now make sure not to overcrowd your oil as you'll drop the temperature and your chicken won't cook fast enough. I've been to Jamaica, had a jerk chicken. I've been to Beijing, had a duck. I've been to the Italy, had a little pizza. Searching for the perfect dish but had no luck. You can also shallow fry or bake this if you like. It's just going to take a lot longer. In a saute pan, I'm going to heat up half a cup of oil and I'm going to saute one cup of finely chopped red onions. Next, I'm going to add two green chilies and I'm going to saute this as well. Add half a cup of curry leaves. Now the aroma is incredible. I'm sure my entire street can smell this. Add one tablespoon each of ginger and garlic paste. And I always like to make fresh paste, by the way, as much as I can anyway. Very good, very good. Add one tablespoon of red Kashmiri powder. Now this red chili powder gives you the color, but it's not crazy spicy. I'm also going to add one teaspoon of cumin powder and I always roast my cumin seeds and I just powder it. This is just incredibly fragrant. Mix this well. I just want to make sure that the raw flavor from the ginger and garlic is cooked off. And I also want to heat the powdered spices as well. This is probably an ingredient you won't see in too many 65 recipes, but it is delicious. Two heaped tablespoons of a sambal olek or chili garlic paste. Just mix this in. Now mix a little bit of red food coloring with a little bit of water. This is going to give everything that amazing and telltale chicken 65 color. Now if you're opposed to using food coloring, you can add about a tablespoon or so of pureed beets. 
Mix well to incorporate. Taste for salt and add salt as required. Well, I've tried shawarma from the Middle Eastern land. Add the chicken to the pan and mix well to coat. But the chicken 65 is the best by far. First class meat, it's such a treat. Eating chicken 65 on a Madurai street. First class meat, it's such a treat. Eating chicken 65 on a Madurai Mix well to coat. Now, I like to put a lid on it for a few minutes and this does two things. One, it ensures that the chicken is completely cooked just in case there were any pieces that weren't quite done. And two, the steam creates moisture and helps the masala and the color adhere to the chicken. After a few minutes though, I'm going to open it up because I want this chicken to be dry and I want it to be ever so slightly caramelized. This is really going to enhance the flavor. Cook this for another five minutes. I'm going to allow it to sit for a while before stirring it. You wanna see that nice caramelization at the bottom and a little bit of those crispy bits. This is also giving me a chicken 65 facial. It's now ready to serve. This is great as a snack, appetizer, side, or even as a main dish. Jamaica had the jerk chicken. I've been to Beijing, had the duck. I've been to the Italy, had a little pizza. Searching for the perfect dish, but had no luck. First class meat, it's such a treat. Eating chicken 65 on a Madurai street. First class meat, it's such a treat. Eating chicken 65 on a Madurai I hope you enjoyed this amazing recipe. I'm telling you, this is something I make over and over and over at home. My kids just love it. The combination of all of the spices with the chicken and the curry leaves is simply divine. Thank you so much for joining me on Cravings Food Adventures. I really hope you subscribe to my channel. If not, hit the little subscribe button. Also hit the bell icon so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Please do share this recipe with all of your family and friends. Also follow me on all of my social channels. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and even Snapchat. I upload a lot of behind the scenes footage there. So make sure that you're subscribed so you're the first to see it. Until I see you again, take care guys, bye.